Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and welcome back to another Pandora video. So today we are going over a travel bracelet and I don't say my travel bracelet because it's not mine, it's my mama's. So her bracelet has a lot of the fun, exclusive travel charms. We just went on a 21 day cruise on the Carnival Pride in Europe. We picked up a lot of the same travel charms, exclusives from different countries or different places that we went but she has styled hers with gold and rose gold, mixed metals, a lot of blues, some reds, a lot more color. So if you want to check out everything on her bracelet, I'm going to go piece by piece and show you close-up shots as well as hallmarks for all of these pieces. If you want to see a far superior bracelet in every way, <laughs> if you want to see similar charms, all of the silver exclusives styled in a different way, you can go over to the video where I show you my bracelet. It has those rose golds and a lot more, a uh, lot less color for now. I'm planning to add some blushes and pinks along the way, but for now, very different bracelets. Today, we're going over the gold, blue, and rose gold of Mom's multicolored bracelet. Hope you love it. All right, y'all, so we are going to jump right into mom's bracelet. So as you can see, her bracelet is a lot of colors. She's got blues, she's got rose gold, she's got shine, she's got lots of this turquoise and the Muranos and her clips. And her bracelet itself is the heart closure bracelet with the gold clasp. So overall, it's very pretty, but it's it's definitely different from mine. So I will be able to show you, if you watch this video and mine, kind of how to style these in two different ways. Now she does have, we don't have identical charms. She has some I don't have, and I have some she doesn't have. But a lot of the exclusives, like the Notre Dame and the Spain and um, the Coliseum, these silver charms, those we pretty much have identical. So I'm going to go ahead and start showing you charm by charm what mom has on her multicolor travel bracelet. I love this vibe. It's very like beachy to me, I guess. I don't know why. Now mom's bracelet, like I said, is the heart closure with the clip stations. The rose gold version of this heart class which does not have clip stations that also means that for some reason it's not threaded so although she has a safety chain mom is big on safety chains it is not a silicone safety chain and this bracelet is not threaded so we've just added a little silicone stopper here to make sure that nothing comes off that shouldn't come off little silly but it would be better if this safety chain was just silicone lined or if she had picked one of the silicone lined ones but she really wanted this triple blue stone safety chain to go pick up the blues and her Muranos and her clips and I can't blame her it is very pretty and that right there is why we have the safety chain and the clip because five seconds in and uh, and things are already falling off. So, so without the threads, these charms can just come right off. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put the silicone stopper back on without the safety chain so that we don't have continuous charms falling off this entire video. And honestly, like, I don't know about y'all. Let me know in the comments below. But, you know, Pandora used to have the silicone stoppers and the little black ones for free. You could just go into your shop and pick them up. And I have asked at a bunch of shops. I've called Pandora. I have not been able to find any for a long time, which wasn't a huge deal, except when I got my travel bracelet with no clip stations and my globe clips we're not silicone lined. So as much as I hate it, I did go on Amazon and just picked up a package of these little clear silicone stoppers. And I hate that they're not Pandora, but 
I hate losing charms more. So here is a look at the entire bracelet and I will try to put a clip at the end of um, the last heart charm, which is literally on its way here. That will go right in here. So we have one more coming from Sweden and I will explain, well, I'll explain now because we're talking about it now. But literally on our entire trip, um, when we got to Sweden, we went to two, three different locations. The Pandora store we went to at first was gone. They said it had closed down like 10 years ago, but it was still showing as operating online. So then we went across town to a mall and we found a Pandora booth and a local jewelry store, but they were completely sold out of the Sweden heart charm, which is the only exclusive Sweden charm they have. But the very nice gal who worked there, Miss Kiki, hi Kiki, we love you, thank you. She actually let us pay for the charms and she said she would mail them as soon as they came in. And you know, mom and I were a little apprehensive about that for obvious reasons, but we figured it's worth a shot. If if push comes to shove and we're out the, the cost of two charms, we're out the cost mm -hmm. of two charms. But if we leave without trying, we know we won't get those Sweden charms. So Miss Kiki has been emailing us every step of the way, and she just emailed last week to say the charms are in, and she has shipped them to us. So we have a Sweden exclusive heart charm on its way to little old Alabama, and it's going to go right here. All right, let's start at this end. So, of course, we have our heart closure. And if you've never seen this bracelet, I'll link below where I unbox it. But it is a very, it's a very nice bracelet. Then we have that safety chain. So, like I said, this is the three gem, three blue stone safety chain. It has turquoise, dark blue, and turquoise. It's very delicate, very pretty. Then... We have this little charm. I got this one for mom. And it says, I want to travel the world. And on the other side, it says, dun, 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 with you. It's a little travel charm. I have the matching one on my bracelet. And then I am going to eventually get the, they have a matching pink hearted mother-daughter version that I'm going to get to go with it. They also have the mother-daughter version in rose gold and in red. So different colors. Next to that, well, I will show you the hallmarks real quick when I can. So there's the hallmarks. And I don't believe there's anything on this side of the bale. But it does have those pretty, pretty CZs all the way around the charm. This one is retired. Next up, we have an exclusive, the Coliseum Dangle. So excited to get this one. This was not our first trip to Italy. I actually did a study abroad art history class there in college. It says Rome on one side, but I wasn't collecting Pandora the last couple times I was there, so I was very happy to get some actual Pandora charms. Pandora S925ALE has the little heart. I love that how all of these exclusive travel charms have the heart hidden somewhere on it. It's so pretty. It has a plain silver bottom and then the back is just the same as the front. Because of course the Coliseum is round, y'all. The Coliseum is round. All right, so next up we have the Ocean Wave Murano. I will put all the names on the screen. You're probably already seeing them. That way, if I'm calling something the wrong name, the, the correct name is what's on the screen. <laughs> this one I did just unbox. So I'll link to that below if you'd like to see it, but it does have the hallmarks on the side here. Pandora. And on the right, it is simply clear, but this, I mean, they give so much life and movement to this bracelet. I don't have any Muranos on mine yet because I haven't 
quite decided. I think I want the pale pink rose gold Murano's, but I love how much movement this has. All right. Next up is the teacup. Now this one is not an exclusive, but mom and I picked it up in London. So when we were there, we flew in and out of London for this cruise. It says Pandora on one side, a cup of tea, solves everything. So cute on the bale. And then let's see if we can get a good shot of the actual charm here. It has a little macaroon cookie with a heart and the little spoon. And if you can see in the middle of the little mac um, macaroon, I'm assuming it's a macaroon, it's a biscuit. It's a biscuit. There we go, right there. Come on, participate. It has a little heart in the middle of the little biscuit and little flower details. It's so pretty. On the bottom are the hallmarks, S925ALE. Mom and I flew into London and we flew out of London on this cruise. And when we flew into London, this charm had been released early for the Queen's Jubilee, which had just happened. Um, and we got there early enough that it was still being sold. And we thought about getting it, but we weren't there for the actual Jubilee. We, we missed it by a little bit. And so we decided, no, we're going to skip it. Um, Mom didn't even get Big Ben, which I got because she wasn't going to do a travel bracelet. And obviously that didn't work. But unfortunately, while we were on our cruise, we were on the ship for 21 days. And while we were on the cruise, obviously the queen died. She passed away. And it just, I mean, it stunned the, it stunned everyone. It stunned everyone on the ship that the British people were in mourning. It was, it was a very somber feeling. And so we decided when we got back to London, the whole city was just shut down. That in honor of the queen and being in London, we were going to go ahead and pick up the teacup for her Jubilee and for her life. And the very strange fact that we were there. So next up is an exclusive from Spain. And this is the little engravable heart. So a lot of countries, even if they don't have a specific exclusive um, charm like the Colosseum, they might have a engravable heart like the Spanish heart. And so it, it's always the same. It has the hearts around the outside has the hallmarks on the bottom, S925ALE, has a clear back, silver, silver, silver. And then the front is going to be engraved with whatever that country has decided on. So sometimes it's just the name of the country. Sometimes it's the name of the country and a little heart. Sometimes it's a character. Sometimes it has a character on the back. Sometimes it's the shape of the country. So it is completely dependent on that country. For Spain, it is this little heart. And I love that, especially since most of the actual exclusives are dangles, this gives us some beads that are not dangles to break it up. So next up is a country that does not have an exclusive, that does not have a dangle, that does not have a heart and that is Estonia. So this little rose gold suitcase globe and plain dangle with the little pink. I just loved it. I fell in love. I had to have it. And not all countries even have this rose gold piece. A couple countries like France that we went to saw it. I was wearing mine on my O pendant and they were so insanely jealous because they wanted it and they could not get it. But we picked it up in Estonia, and I just, I love mine. I'm not even wearing mine on my bracelet because I think it is just so pretty. And I am trying to only do exclusives on my bracelet as much as possible. Mom once wanted a little more rose gold, so she put hers here in this first section. And uh, I think it does help balance out the colors nicely. 
Well, this is why you need a safety chain or clips. All right, so next up, of course, are the clips. I will link below to where we unbox these. Mom ordered these when Pandora was having their two for one sale after we got home. So you can see they are turquoise and silver. They even have little hearts for some of the countries, which I think is so cute. And I like that if they're sitting on the clip stations, I can put one on front and one on backwards and you can see both continents at the same time. That's really nice. They are very pretty. I am not going to open one and show you, but the Hallmarks are inside. And if you watch that unboxing video, I did open one and show you the Hallmarks in that video. Next up, and this, this section is the fullest. Mom wanted to put all her charms in this section and I kept trying to explain to her, you have three parts of your bracelet. Like, let's not put everything in one spot. But it's her bracelet. She wanted the, the middle to be full. So that's what we did. So we'll see. I may have to take some of these off or maybe just a clip off in order to show you the hallmarks. But this first one is the wildflower meadow. And it is rose gold with pink CZs. Has little flowers, a little ladybug. And there are all your hallmarks. So mom got this one in France because we spent the afternoon in Givernay walking throughout the flowers, admiring the water lilies and seeing Monet's home and gardens where he lived and painted. Our tour guide, Adrian, had to keep finding me and mom and um, hurrying us up because we were the last two in every single part of the tour Stopping to smell the flowers, look at them, see how many we could name. If you've watched any of my garden videos, like we were like kids in a candy store. And I will link that below. I did, I, I literally did in a video of each place we visited, each port we went to, what we did in those cities. So if you want to see what we did in Estonia, you can check that out. If you want to see what we did in London, you can check that out. If you want to see Givernay, you can check that out. So next up is the Eiffel Tower. Now this is not technically an exclusive. You can order the Eiffel Tower from several countries. I know in the US we can order it. It's not all countries, but a lot of countries you can get the Eiffel Tower. Um, mom actually picked it up in Rome because of course mom and I went to London, Paris, and Rome for my first ever Europe trip back after high school. So she did not have this. The Eiffel Tower is one of the, it's, it's the very first charm I got for any travel situations. My husband bought it for me. I think it was like my sixth Pandora charm I ever owned. So I've had it for many years, but mom didn't. She picked it up in the airport in Rome. And let's see. So the hallmarks on this side. All right, give me a second. Okay, I went ahead and took that clip off so that we can see the hallmarks better. So it says Pandora, A-L-E-S-925, and then it does say P2. And if we go on the other side, don't look at my nails, it has a heart and it says Paris because we love Paris. And again, remember I told you on all these exclusives or the city charms, there are always hidden hearts. And Paris's are the feet. They're the feet. I pointed this out to the lady or to mom in the shop and the gal in Rome had never seen or heard of that before. She was so excited. I was like, I could work at Pandora, but that would be a lot. All right. So this next piece is a little bit of a conundrum. Mom actually bought this piece when it was on mega sale at a shop in the Caribbean because this cruise, we booked this cruise because it was going to Russia. Well, obviously we are no longer going to Russia anytime soon. And this charm itself is actually from Aladdin. So it's not technically the Russian uh, exclusive of any kind, 
but mom loves shine. She loves this charm. And so she bought it for Russia in advance since it was such a good sale. And then we didn't go to Russia. So she was very sad. And she was like, I'm never going to be able to put this on my bracelet. I'm going to put a picture up right here. This is one of the cathedrals that we saw in Estonia. And it has such a Russian influence in parts of Estonia that I was like, mom, you could totally use Aladdin's castle as a remainder, a reminder. You could totally use Aladdin's castle as a reminder of Estonia and this specific Russian influenced cathedral. And she was very happy. So let's see, it has a beautiful bell. It has, I love when the bells have like these little dots and the CZs. I like the plain ones, but I like when they're all a little different. It just adds a lot more interest to the bracelet. So on this side, it does have the Pandora ALE S925. And on the right, let's see what it says. Disney. That makes sense because it's from Aladdin, y'all. This is technically like Alibaba. <laughs> I know that's the prince, not the place, but just go with it. Next up with the same bale, which I would have put these not next to each other, but again, mom has her own ideas. She wanted the two round pieces here to complement each other and she would not switch these two for some reason. I don't know. It's easier not to argue with her. It's her bracelet. It makes her happy. That's the point. So next up, we have another Disney charm, The Little Mermaid. And of course, we picked this one up in Copenhagen. This was the very first one that I got that mom was like, okay, never mind. I'm obviously have to buy all the travel charms. And she picked up this Little Mermaid. It is so sweet. I love the pearl. It does say Pandora S925 ALE. And I'm assuming it will say, yep, Disney on the other side. Same as our little Estonian castle here. I love these so much. They're so pretty. All right, next up, we have our second heart, the German heart, Germany. And it does have that little red heart right over the Germany word and the little country outline. I love that this one is different. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. Of all of the heart exclusives, there are only a couple that actually have the country outline. So I thought that made this one really special. Like the other one, the hallmarks are always on the bottom. And like the other one, the hearts are always flippers. So you just gotta be okay with that. We are making our way through here. So next up is the blue globe dangle. And this one, I just unboxed it, y'all. It is so pretty. Let's see if we can get a good shot here says wonderful world with hearts oh that's pretty I bought I just read that like three days ago but still Pandora ALE S925 I love all the details on this charm like even the globe itself is that deep blue has the little rivets, has little dots around the bale. It is so pretty. I love it. Next up is the Regal Castle, another Disney piece. Now this one mom picked up to represent our time in Schwerin Castle in Germany. Even though we got the German heart, that castle, the castle in Germany were our favorite excursions, so... Picked this one up. You can see it has that little heart over the little opening. It has dots around the bale. Dots around the bale. And there's the hallmarks. So this charm is retired. We picked it up 
and an amazing twist of fate. S925 ALE. Our fairy tale. We picked it up on Rula Law, so you never know what you're going to find on there. I found quite a few retired pieces. Almost done with this metal section. So next up is Portugal. And y'all, Portugal was a whole thing. We went to two different stores in Portugal because we were looking for the Portugal heart, like this one. And the first place said, oh, we don't have it, but 10 minutes away, they do. And so we, we convinced our entire tour group to go there and they didn't have it either. And we were so disappointed. S925 ALE. This guy has a little bit of black enamel on the bottom. She's so pretty with all those stars. I mean, look at the back. All those little CZs. And at the very bottom, there's a little heart. So when we got to the second store and they didn't have the heart either, I was heartbroken. So was mom. And they said, we do have Our Lady of Guadalupe, which is not entirely country exclusive, but it represents a lot of the saints in the Spanish speaking countries. Um, we've seen it in Mexico a couple times. So we decided, you know, I didn't really want to get it for Mexico when we were there last. But I'd get it for Portugal. It is a beautiful charm. So she saved the day. She, she took us from no charm to a charm. And we are going back to Portugal next month. So we still have hope of getting the heart. Next up, another heartbreaking day, Helsinki, Finland. We went to a mall that was supposed to have a Pandora. We looked everywhere. We couldn't find it. They kept telling us it was downstairs and around the corner. And I think I figured out what happened. I think it was another instance where the Pandora was at a counter in a jewelry store. And we were looking for a Pandora store. So I don't know. We'll never know. But... The only other thing we did there was go on the hop on hop off bus. We wanted to do the reindeer excursion, but it was sold out. Um, and so we did, we went around the city. We saw a lot of the history and we saw a lot of reindeer pieces. So we picked up this little rose gold reindeer on Rulala for Helsinki, Finland. Getting close. Choo, choo, choo. Last third. So we do have some exclusives here. We have our Spanish dangle. This is the Flamingo dangle, which is fun. It does say Pandora S925 ALE. And on the other side, it says Spain with a heart. And it has the three colors, which is nice. So it has a little bit of that shine gold. It has our red Flamingo fan. And the red flamingo shoe. And we did see a flamingo dancer in Spain. Not intentionally. We went to a, a horse show at a horse farm. And I love that little heart. And even the shoe has little tiny like treads on the bottom. Details, y'all. Details. But we saw the horses that dance. They do dressage. Um, dance with a flamingo dancer. So that was really fun. Next up is Notre Dame from France. It has a heart. And on the other side, it says heart, 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 S925 ALE, Pandora on the back. The front has that CZ, Pandora. And this and Arc de Triomphe, which I have, the only two travel charms, exclusive ones, that I've not found a heart on. I'm assuming that's because the Eiffel Tower is the main charm there. And they do have the hearts on the bale, so maybe that's it. But I don't see one on the actual charm. It's beautiful, though. We've been to Paris and seen the actual Notre Dame. But I actually got this charm in Rouen. 
for their cathedral, which is their Notre Dame. So another one of those Muranos. And last but not least, Venice, the gondola, Pandora, ALE, S925. And on the other side, it is blank. Little guy sitting there, rowing you around. Now, mom has not been to Venice, but she picked this one up in the airport, so it's such a good price. And because we have plans to go to Venice next year. And she she thought about waiting and just getting it. Ooh, y'all are on the move in Venice. But that tax-free in the airport, y'all. She just, she just couldn't wait. So that is it. That is her entire bracelet. Well, let's put this on the right way. And I hope you guys liked the look here. Let me put it down and give you an overview from the sky.